in the herb shop at Fountain Gardens and we're going to make a couple of tinctures, uh, alcoholic extracts. Actually, a tincture can be, is not always alcohol, but most of the time. You can use a variety of menstruums for tincturing. You can use sometimes, people like to use glycerin uh, if they want to avoid alcohol or especially for children. Uh, vinegar is another menstruum. Uh, but typically it's alcohol and it varies, uh, the strength of the alcohol varies according to uh, whether you're making a fresh tincture or a dry tincture. And then again, uh, depending on some of the constituents of what you're trying to tincture. So things with a lot of resins in them, for instance, want a higher percentage of alcohol. But in general, I'm just gonna show you the uh, most straightforward way to do it that applies to most tinctures. So we'll make one dried, herb tincture and one fresh herb tincture. The dried one is going to be a Chinese formula called Peaceful Spirit. It's got about uh, 15 different ingredients in it, mostly Chinese tonic herbs. And so these are the, this is what we weighed out from the herb shop. You can see there's some uh, yam root. This is uh, citrus peel. A number of them are rather small. There's some ginseng in here and dang shen. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is chop this up quite a bit smaller. And for that I usually use a pair of pruning shears or just whatever. Some of them will use a uh, coffee grinder on some of the seeds. And I'll go ahead and get it all chopped up. All right, so we've got it all chopped up now. Uh, just no set amount of chopping to do, but the more surface area you have, the more it's going to dissolve. So we've just reduced it to small chunks, all the different herbs. And so this is a dry herb extract. So uh, the ratio, the standard ratio is one to five, which means one part of herbs to five parts of liquid. Liquid's called the menstruum. And as I said, it can be a variety of things, but the standard uh, menstruum for dry herb tinctures is 50% uh, alcohol, 50% water. In other words, 100 proof. So if you can buy uh, pure alcohol, well, it's not really pure. It really isn't pure alcohol on the market. Uh, the strongest you can get is this 95%. Everclear, and I guess there's other brands in different parts of the country. Uh, so if we dilute that by uh, with an equal amount of water, that's going to be our menstrual. And we've actually got some of that already made up. We've got a jug of 50% alcohol right here. So this was 200 grams. So at a one to five ratio means we're going to need a thousand milliliters or a liter of menstruum, which is going to be 500 alcohol and 500 water. So what we can do is just put in the, so numbers like that make it very easy to proceed. Not too much math involved. So we want to put in a thousand milliliters. There's my mark here again. Thousand is right there. So this half gallon mason jar actually has uh, lines on it, both in uh, metric on one side and it's got uh, cups and pints and ounces on the other side. Makes it very handy. And so now we're just adding the 200 grams of herbs to the uh, 1,000 milliliters of menstruum. And that's pretty much it. Very important to label it. So what we're going to say is, what's it today, about the 18th? 
close enough. I to using these nice round ones. So June 18th, and we've got uh, a formula is called Peaceful Spirit. Two hundred grams, and then uh, fifty percent alcohol. One thousand milliliters. I'll stick that on here. So these are the ones that we have. Uh, Made recently, just in the last few days, this is a formula uh, based on Siberian ginseng, Eleuthero 10 plus. This is just straight Dongwe, Chinese Angelica. This is straight Shizandra. And one called Winter Training Wine. A uh, very warming formula for working in the winter. So, I'm not going to need that for a while. And here's one for prostate problems. So we usually let them sit for a month and ideally you shake it every day for a minute or two. Uh, usually keep them in a dark place. We've got a cabinet where they stay while they're uh, while they're waiting to be pressed. And we'll do another video on pressing this out. So that's making a dry herb tincture. It's really a very simple process. Nothing very tricky about it. 